Greetings, fellow woodshedders. So, Modacity works just like playlists in Spotify or iTunes. Practice items are your songs, and then the practice lists are like the playlists themselves. So, Modacity helps you order what and when you'll practice your music before you start. So, to begin, tap on that bottom right music note icon, and this will help us start making a practice item. You can name your practice item whatever you want after a song, etude, exercise, but we do recommend naming it so it focuses you on a small section. So I'm going to practice the first movement of a sonata. Instead of naming this first movement, I'm going to name it first movement measure one through five because when I'm practicing for this particular item, I just want to work on the first five measures of this sonata. So movement one, measure one through five. This way it takes me right into practicing that. But since I'm showing you uh, how to make practice items and lists, I'm going to press cancel. I wouldn't recommend that. That just cancels out the session. No time is saved. But that's okay for us. Here you see that that practice item is now added to the practice item list. Now tap uh, on the bottom bar at the rightmost icon. This will take you to the playlist menu. Tap on that button we used before, see that the icon changed, and this is how you'll make a practice list. So first thing you do is you name the practice list, preferably after its function. Is it a warm-up? Is it your etudes? Is it just exercises? For me, this is going to be my trouble spots. So when I finish naming it, I'll tap on Add Practice Items. And I can add in practice items I've already made, like First Movement Sonata, or one of these movement ones. Or I can type in a new item. So I'll tap at the top bar and type in All Blues Chords. And then I add the practice list, and those items are now in the list. The last step is look at the air up and down arrows on the right. So you can tap and hold on those to change the order of these items. Modacity prompts you to practice from what's listed at the top down to the bottom. So I want to practice all blues first. So I'll tap and hold on those arrows. The item lifts up, and then I can move it to the top of the list. When everything's in the right order, I just press start. And ta-da! I'm practicing, and I have an ordered list of prompts to tell me what to practice. So all I have to do is just focus on playing. So that's it. I hope you have fun making uh, and naming items and lists. Tomorrow we're going to talk about a strategy that's really simple but really effective uh, for making the most out of your practice time. See you tomorrow.